I am sure that this, my coronation, is not the symbol of a power and a splendor that are gone, but a declaration of our hopes for the future and for the years I may, by God's grace and mercy, be given to reign and serve as your queen. I think tea time is one of those things that you get to be very personal with and creative with. And this was simply a way that I could give a little tribute to the late and great Queen Elizabeth II. Yes, I'm an American and a New Yorker, and so why would I care so much about the Queen? I've never even been to the UK. But I think, as we all know, Queen Elizabeth, her legacy, her, her life, she just was a mountain of a life. And her passing means a lot. It shows how blessed she was to have lived such a long and fruitful life. But her passing also means a lot of changes. And uh, those changes mean a lot of things because she basically encapsulated a certain way of life and culture. And without getting too deep into politics right now, just because that's not what this video is about, uh, I just want to acknowledge her, like so many of us are currently, uh, for the immense life that she lived. And I felt that one of the best ways that I personally could do that was with tea, because uh, not only did Queen Elizabeth II love tea, but I also love tea so much. And I think part of it has to do with the fact that um, my mother loves tea and she had it or has had it, I think almost every single day of my life that I've known her. <laughs> uh, even now, even to this day, she, she has it. She has it a few times a day in the morning and in the afternoon. And uh, it was something that I and my siblings witnessed. It was very important to have tea on hand all the time. Tea just means a lot of things. <laughs> so I'm happy to share with you how I created this beautiful tablescape, this little tablescape really. It's simple, mostly thrifted, but I think it could make a really big impact. And I hope that you'll try something like this yourself. Not a big fan of sugar in my tea, so I took it just as the queen would have with just a spot of milk. And also, my own mother really prefers it that way as well, and I think that's how I came to try it that way. And now, it's the best. Strongly brewed tea with a bit of milk to kind of cut that, that edge, uh, sort of like you would do with coffee, and that's it. It's perfect. And I did make a note that you're supposed to stir it from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock depending on which hand you use. The scone recipe itself was actually Queen Elizabeth's and I will leave it written out for you in the description bar below, as well as a link to my Instagram page, which has the original uh, photograph from Queen Elizabeth on this recipe. I felt like I couldn't do tea time without shortbread. 
as shortbread just seems like a perfect cookie for dunking. And I wanted to make these ones a little extra special though, so I laced them with chamomile, uh, lots of dried chamomile leaves and the aroma and the flavor it, it's subtle but it's there and it, I think it was a really good call if you would like to see how I gathered the majority of the items that are on this table thrifting and a few decoration pieces and the cookies that I made that's all in the video that came out just prior to this one and so definitely go over and watch that one I will leave it linked for you below so that after you're done watching this video you can head on over there and kind of see the behind the scenes of how we got to this point The idea of the florals and in general the color scheme for this tablescape was directly influenced by uh, her late royal highness because she was just a basket of colors <laughs> she wore greens and purples and yellows and blues and in fact blue from what i have read was her favorite color so i did try to lace a bit of blue throughout this tablescape in the florals especially but then i also chose a teapot that had some blue detailing in that as well backtracking to the scones for a moment it was the first time that I've tried clotted cream. So I went, I found this little bottle of clotted cream at Whole Foods and I had it the way you typically would at a tea time in the UK. Again, from my research, I've never been so. But from what I was also reading and uh, seeing, uh, you would put jam and clotted cream on the inside of your scone. So I did jam first and then clotted cream on top. Typically they would have some sort of tea sandwiches, eggs and mayo or tomato or cucumber. The thing is, I really don't like bread. Well, I shouldn't say I don't like it. I'm just not a big fan. I don't have bread very often. So I decided to, because I already had so many starchy products in the tablescape that this was an area I could cut down on the bread and just have the protein. So I decided to do hard boiled eggs, with just a little bit of salt on top. And that was personally more my cup of tea. And then just some finishing touches, a few little accessories, and really you have a perfect spread for yourself. It's simple and yet still sophisticated and beautiful. I set it up in my bedroom today because I wanted it in the most calming and relaxing and bright atmosphere and so this, this is where I chose to have it and I just relaxed with some work and with a book. You could make a much bigger spread of this, do it as a buffet, put it in the center of a room or even do it as a sit down and double or triple all the recipes <laughs> that I have here. I really hope you've enjoyed spending this time with me. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you again soon. I have a lot of ideas so we'll see what happens next and until then, Take care.